Hold on, I gotta sleep. Aha, that's better. Hello everybody, my name is Minecraft Days, and welcome to another episode on the Plundercraft server. I believe today is episode 23. Now, I actually wasn't planning on making a Plundercraft video today, but some really cool stuff has happened, and we're gonna go take a look at it. So without further ado, let's get into this video. <laughs> Alright everybody, welcome to Infinite. This is a shop that is going to be opening very shortly, and it is a very good shop. Uh, I cannot wait for this to open. So there are two sections to this shop. There is the non-stackable items, and there is the stackable items. Not everything is done yet, but we are very, very close to completion. Uh, these work... The door does not work yet. We're getting it. Uh, basically, when you put a diamond in it, it does not keep the door open. It it just it uh, yeah it 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 just flickers and goes everywhere. But uh, other than that, we had a Friday night stream night. If you're not watching the Friday night stream nights, you better come because they are great. Anyways, uh. We had Friday night stream night, and if I come over here, I can show you what I did. Um, the stream went for five hours. That's the longest I've ever streamed. And in that, we built all of this. Uh, I followed a tutorial for most of it. Most of it, uh, for some of it. Most of it, I did myself. I understand exactly how it works. I'm not going to explain it because not everybody understands it, so I won't explain it. But the one part that we have working uh, completely and is ready to go is this portion here. This is almost ready. We're getting there. Uh, and we might, we're going to finish it in today's episode as well. Uh, but this here, it's uh, it's amazing. You ready? Alright, let's go do that. So, how this would work is you'd come into the chest. You'd press Q on your items. It would then go through the system, blah, 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 blah. And then it would come up to this. Now... For those of you who play Bedrock, you should know that Bedrock Redstone is not good. It is very janky, it is very inconsistent, but uh, we have found a system that works perfectly. So, you ready? In these shulker boxes, I have polished granite, and in this one, I've got dirt. So, if we take these, yes I need to go heal my pickaxe, and we put them in this dispenser, it will then dispense it. When we take the dirt out. Huh? Hold on, it's broken. Alright, after those technical difficulties, if we break this... There we go, both shulker boxes went down. <laughs> oh my. But if we come back here, I need to eat. If we come back down here, we uh, can go over here. Basically what I missed, and if I show the clip, I missed a comparator. It's there now. I don't know how it broke or why it broke, but it's gone. It was gone. But here we go. Here's the two shock boxes. And as you can see, they are now empty. And they are right there. So it does work. So basically, all we have to do now is connect that system up to a system that will be floating in the air that will just have all of our receipts and our shulker boxes, our empty shulker boxes in it. Uh, this is the uh, tunnel. This is the water system that comes up and it will have to connect to that dispenser over there. And this one will have the receipt, which will go to the payment system, which is just right there. But anyways, guys, uh, today is a special day because in just a few minutes, we are having the debate for the mayor. So, let's go do that. And, uh, I'm very sorry, but you can't come. But, you can watch the TV show. It's live on TV. Let's go. Uh, you know what? Instead of making you go off the video and watch it live, why not I just show you the, show you the show? Will that be good? But I might get copyrighted. Ah, who cares? It's, a, it's, a, it's gonna be a great show. Let's go do it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first annual Plundercraft debate. Our candidates today are Tim the Creeper, Killer Goblin, and Pepe TGP. We are going to have a great time tonight. I'm your moderator, Minecraft for Days, and today, it's time to have a debate. 
Let's introduce our candidates. Well, everybody, welcome to the first annual Plundercraft debate. We have three mayoral candidates, and we're going to just do a little bit of introducing. They will introduce themselves and their campaign. So we will start with Pepe TGP. So hello, I'm, I'm Pepe TGP, mayor candidate for Plunderville's mayor thing. And what is your campaign? Oh, so my campaign. What, what do you mean? Like what I'm gonna do? Yes. What I, are you gonna do? I become mayor. Okay. You're just running okay, for mayor. So. That's your campaign. No, 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 <laughs> no. I'm not just running for mayor. So, um, our goal is to make Thundercraft great again. So, like making buildings nice and everything, add trees, add lampposts. And protect other people's fields by adding cats and lighting up the areas to give them creeper proof. And also, well, yeah, building more stuff, more useful stuff to make Plunderville a recording center. Like, people can come here and make videos. Yeah. And subscribe to the channels that upload Minecraft, basically. Thank you, Pepe. Nope. Next, we have Killer Goblin. Go ahead, Killer Goblin. Hello, my name is Killer Goblin, and I am running for president. My campaign. Oh, you're is... running for president. Oh, not president, mayor. My my campaign is to make sure that there is no more breaking in. We have a, we have had lots of people break trying to breaking in. Go ahead. My campaign is about is about stopping people from breaking in. We've had lots of people complaining in the looking for in the looking for not, in the reporting a planetcraft problem chat. We've had lots of people reporting in there that people have been sto have stolen from houses. That's why I have come up with the idea of building an alarm system to set off an alarm. No, letting the pe letting the intruder know they're not supposed to be in there. Steal. All right, thank you. Next, we have Tim the Creeper. Go ahead, Tim. Um, my campaign is I'm going to be fixing all the creeper holes in Plunderville. Like as soon as they happen, people will message and we'll be on immediately to fix them. We are going to be making the streets kind of a bit looking better, other than just cobblestone everywhere, because cobblestone isn't the best all the time. And... Yeah. Alright, thank you. So, to start off today's debate, we are going to start off with a few questions. I have listened to your campaigns, and I'm going to ask you some questions about it. So first off, we'll start with Pepe. Hello again, Pepe. Hello. So, my question for you is if you become mayor, how will you stop mobs from coming into Plunderville? Well, um, like all hostile mobs? Yes. Okay, so I saw one day, and we have actually implemented that method in the zoo behind the upper house, that they surround an area with rails and they keep monsters out. And it actually works because Black Kiwi and MK Gamer haven't seen any more monsters inside the zoo. So that can be one of the, method, one of the methods. And another is to light up the areas correctly. Like, if there's any dark patches, like that, we could light them up and such. And add cats for creepers, because creepers are scared of cats. Next, we will go on to Killer Goblin. Hello again. Hello. So, my question for you is how will you make houses safer? I have devised a plan to be able to make it that once the door is opened, the, uh, the alarm system will go off, and the only way to be able to stop it is with 
a literal design that will be told to each one is going to be different so that all so that all of them that are not the same so that the robber can get in and disarm it and then leave without the person knowing each one is going to be different next we will go to tim the creeper hello again tim hello sir my question for you is how will you be able to cover up and to get rid of all the creeper holes right after they happen um we're going to have a quick um contact so people can dm you privately or mention you in the um plundercraft chat and then you will have to get on and fix it and we'll have like an area where we have all the materials and stuff that we would use to fix everything all right one thing i would like to say this is for all the candidates and for everybody these are just the beginnings of their campaign. Not all of this is going to be certain. So it is actually very good of us asking them questions about this because it gives them ways that they can make it better. So candidates, don't get discouraged of people uh, getting angry or getting upset with how you're going to do your campaign. They are doing this so you can make it better. Just wanted to say that. Yeah, uh, is there anybody who has any questions for the candidates before we go off? Killer Goblin, why do you not have a campaign manager? Well, I find that you don't actually really need a campaign manager. It's just to see... <laughs> it's just to see who actually will support you. Have, not having a campaign manager... Not having a campaign manager doesn't really mean anything. Campaign manager is really just a title to a person. It's not really anything special. Yes, so, it is the person that manages their campaign. It's here's the one thing I'd like to say. Uh, do not unmute yourself, please. So, um, with, this is the thing. Uh, I'll compare this to Hermitcraft. Uh, Hermitcraft, uh, some, of the her some of the people running don't have campaign managers. And they're in the lead. So, take that to account. Silver Raptor, stop breaking your chair. Tim, go ahead, as you were speaking. No, that's my only question. That All was, right. that was my is question. there anybody else before we close it off? Well, I think that concludes the first annual Plundercraft debate. Thank you all for coming, and thank you all for watching as well, who are watching the show after. Thank you guys so much. There might even be ne another debate following the questions that happened this debate. Thank you all for coming. We will see you next time. May all the candidates say goodbye. 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 All right, everybody. I think that was a great uh, debate. We had a great time. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, it was okay. Well, uh, I'm right now in front of Tim's campaign building. All right. So I'm going to turn around and we're going to have a look at it. You ready? Three, two, one. Not much has changed. Hold on. We'll go this way. Look at this. It's amazing. Uh, I ran out of glass. I was going to do a whole thing there with glass. And it will be darker when uh, there's actually a roof, but now it's just a floor. Uh, here's the inside. Uh, there's going to be some more decorations around, maybe some paintings. We've got some armor stands. We're going to put some green armor on. Uh, and then we can come upstairs. And there's nothing up here, but the windows will be there. And then right up there will be uh, mine and Tim's... Um, offices so our offices will be up there it's gonna look really really cool and i cannot wait but this is actually not the build that we're gonna be focusing on <laughs> it's not done yet uh we have to go still all the way around with the creeper but um we are getting there it's it's actually looking really good and i cannot wait till it's done right now it just looks like a watermelon from the back with a whole bunch of weird things sticking out but I really like this. I, it's really coming along. And over the time, over time, if we look at my inventory, we are going to be finishing this creeper. I've got a lot of concrete, so we will finish it. But I'm going to put all the concrete in here, and we are going to head to what we're actually going to be doing in today's episode. Right over here is what we're going to be working on today. I would like to finish this. This here is a project me and Dan have been working on ever since... 
close to the beginning of the season. So I would like to try and finish it and uh, get it ready because this is going to be a great shop. We've already got a lot of totems. We've got a lot of shulker boxes. We got a lot of rockets. We're going to sell some probably we might sell some food here and some stuff like that. So uh, why not we just head into a time lapse and uh, finish this build? Oh, and a disclaimer, um, I won't be using the music that I've used in the last video. Uh, that got copyrighted, so yeah. We're going to use some other music. It'll be some new music, so let's do this. Alright everybody, we have Silver Raptor and Pepe. Say hi, Pepe. Hi. Silver can't talk, but um, because you gave me 22 hoppers, I would like to give you a gift. In this chest, I need you to press Q on that firework. Alright, now we wait. Q? That drops the item. Ready? Just wait. Alright, now first, before you look in there, look in here. That's how much you have to pay. Alright, now put it in this trap chest. Put the payment and the receipt in the trap chest. No, it's not going to blow it up. <laughs> no, in the trap chest. You don't have to drop it. <laughs> All right. And now you can take your reward. Really? Oh, you didn't have enough. Okay. Did you get it now? Do you want your potatoes back? I didn't pick them up. He hasn't. Did you see that? Wait, I need to check in here. Okay, good. The payment is gone. That was cool. And, yep, there's now nothing else in there, which means that if I was to come down there, come on and I'll show you this, and I'll even show it here on camera. We're going to go and tour everything I did. So this is what happened when uh, you ordered it. It got shot down this, Confused. then it came, then it came down here, went into this item filter, powered this, which powered, which dropped your receipt, and the shulker box went down this, uh, there's a water, uh, there's a ice path down there. Which went into these two water towers. Went up. This shulker box went into the hopper. Which then took it all the way to the, uh, shulker box unloading station. And if we look in this hopper, there's the shulker box with nothing in it. His receipt, which said free, went up here. Went to those hoppers, went through another, uh... I went through another water stack just because I couldn't get it all the way up and uh, then went into that chest there. Then when he took it out and put it in, oh, there it is. You can see it. I can't fully get up to it just because uh, I I can't jump that high. But it says there's the sign for the payment. Oh, Silver got it out for us. Does it say free, Pepe? It says free. Free. Yes! 
Oh no, my! No, no, I did it! I can't I can't believe no, that worked shit. first no, try. That's really that worked shit. first try. Alright everybody, I'm going to go and get a whole bunch of shulker boxes and load them with fireworks so I can sell fireworks. So we get so infinite can actually be open. Let's go do that. Alright everybody. I have 18 shulker boxes full of fire oh never mind one of them is missing fireworks and the finishing touch right there if you press q you are then devoted to buying it now don't buy anything yet until i have all the rules written down i'm going to go and grab uh i believe i need four signs or something like that i'm gonna grab a whole bunch of signs oh almost died i'm gonna grab a whole bunch of signs and i'll put them down and i'll come back when it's all done all right, everybody, we've got everything. So, welcome to or welcome to order. Press Q on the item you desire. Your receipt will come here. Take it out and put your receipt in the chest in this chest, including your payment. Your order will appear here. Take all your all the item out all the items out. The shulker box will then break. Do not steal the shulker box. So, we're gonna just gonna do a test order, and we will pay as well. So, um, I thought I had diamonds out, but I guess I don't. So we'll take. Some diamonds out. And I'm going to order some fireworks. So, press Q. It will then go through. And now we wait. It's about a 15 second wait. Now, I believe the shulker box will appear first. Yeah, the shulker box appears first. Receipt. One diamond for two stacks. So then, one diamond for two stacks, and then I'll just go like that. When I close it, yep, there it goes. And then I take these out. Shulker box breaks. And now I've got my two stacks. Now I've got my two stacks of fireworks. Yes! I am so happy! It works! I can't believe it! Now I can go to bed. <laughs> this is amazing, everybody. Now I'm going to go get my stuff back. Alright everybody, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know that I did. I had a great time. Um, I, I, I just can't believe that we finally, after five months... I think it's actually been longer than that. But after over five months of working on this build, it's finally eh, kind of officially opened. Only selling one thing, though. Soon it will sell totems and shulker boxes, and I'll get that all set up. All I have to do is fix that iron door in that corner there. Then it will. Then that will all be ready. I can't believe it works. Uh, in the next episode, we will be showing Daniel this. So uh, get ready for that. We'll see what he says. He might order some. Make sure it all works still. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team Up for D. I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Goodbye!